The two most watched dog shows in America are likely the Westminster Dog Show and on Super Bowl morning, the Puppy Bowl. If you've been to any shows in California, it's just not the dogs that stand out. It may be the judge. Here's why. This is best of breed lineup. Everything at a dog show is scrutinized. One canine misstep or flaw separates a pretender from a contender. The dogs and even the judges are being judged. Sacramento's Adrian Woodfork has judged shows in Australia, Brazil, and the Philippines. His style is his own. A lot of times when you see the dog shows on television, they'll send all of the dogs around together. My style is I send each dog around separately. I don't want a dog chasing another dog. That seems to be the cut. What comes to mind when watching Adrian is attention to detail and control of both dogs and the owners. And yes, African-American judges are rare in this predominantly white sport. He's heard some comments about that. That's life in America. You're going to always hear and you're going to always feel it's in certain venues there will be, because I judge all over the country, right. you're going to always have little issues here and there. What you do is you learn to just put your head up in the air and walk on and keep your eye on the prize, which is learning your sport. Without question, being a breeder of Dobermans for 40 years, there is top choice to judge. It was showing Dobermans that led him to take the long, involved path to becoming a judge. He's one of the most sought after in the country, particularly for Doberman shows. The judge goes down, he wants to feel the muscling. The muscling tells me that this is a working dog in good condition. If my fingers sink into the dog, that means this dog is not in the best condition. And you should know the judge has to go over every part of the dog. Adrian recently judged the prestigious Doberman Nationals in Tennessee, which he much prefers to the more well-known Westminster Dog Show. Bria? Such an interesting career.